Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a chilly day in Toyland. Noddy was hurrying to keep warm. Hello, Dinah. Tessie Bear said you have an errand for me. I'd like you to take this parcel to the Noah's Ark, Noddy. I've made two really long scarves to keep the giraffe's necks warm. What a good idea. I had some wool left over, so I made a new scarf for you. Thank you. Ah, no, look at this scarf, Lord and Lady Giraffe. Mm. Tasty leaves, my dear. Mm. Delicious, Lord Giraffe. This is what you need now to keep your necks warm. A scarf? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Giraffes don't wear scarves. Quite right, I've never seen you wear a scarf. <laughs> so that proves it. Giraffes, Giraffes don't, don't wear, wear scarves. scarves. Well, no, this is very cold weather. You must wear scarves. We'd look silly. Oh, we would. We would. We'd, we'd look silly in scarves. I'm wearing a scarf and I don't look silly. I love my scarf. You're not a giraffe. Hmm, see, that proves it. We, we won't, won't wear, wear scarves. scarves. What will you do, Mrs. Noah? I shall wrap their scarves around their necks, whether they like it or not. Or oh, they'll be getting sore throats and I'll be up a ladder all night giving them medicine. If anybody tries to make us wear scarves, we shall dig in our hooves. <laughs> there you are, Noddy. A full tank of petrol. How much is it, Mr. Sparks? Oh, there's no need to pay. If you can do an errand for me tomorrow, I need some rope from the arbor so I can make a new tow rope for my truck. I'll fetch it first thing in the morning. Thank you. Oh, my word! Is there something wrong, Noddy? There's a brick in my car. How can it have got there? This is a brick from your roof. Oh, yes. There is a brick missing. I should say that during the night, someone knocked that brick from your roof into your car. Who would do such a thing? Someone with a ladder, perhaps? Or a very tall someone. <laughs> oh, no, Noddy. <laughs> I don't think anyone's as tall as that. <laughs> there you have it, my hearty. One like the best rope towing for the use of. Thank you, Sammy Sailor. I say... What's wrong with those flags? Hey, the flags. Something mysterious happened to those flags. They've been chewed under cover of darkness. They might have been nibbled by a very tall someone. <laughs> oh, no, Noddy. <laughs> no one's as tall as those masts. Oh, bother. I've got your rope towing for the use of Mr. Sparks. Oh, uh, thank you, Noddy. Um... Why have you smashed a hole in your brand new sign? Well, I'm trying to mend the sign. Well, last night, someone knocked it off its bracket. <gasps> well, I can only think it must have been someone standing on top of a high truck. Unless it was a very tall someone. <laughs> no, no, Noddy. No one's as tall as my new sign. <laughs> Who could have knocked over my best shrub? I really am very cross. So am I. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dear, dear. <clears throat> I'll have my shrub back, if you please, Noddy. Thank you. I'm cross because someone knocked a brick off my roof last night. Sammy Sailor's cross because someone nibbled the flags on the ship's masts. And Mr Sparks is cross because someone knocked down his garage sign. Aha! I spot a link between all those events. They all took place at a great height. So... They must have been caused by someone bouncing up and down on a trampoline. I think they were caused by a very tall someone. Mr. Plod, something terrible has happened. Has someone with a trampoline damaged your ark, Mrs. Noah? No. 
Our giraffes are missing. Oh, no. Well, it was so cold last night, you see. I wrapped their new scarves around their necks, but they pulled them off and they left the ark and I didn't see them all night and they haven't come home this morning. Goodness me. Oh, they must be so cold and hungry. Giraffes are very tall animals, Mr. Plod. I know what a giraffe is. Thank you, Noddy. It might have been the giraffes who nibbled the ship's flags and pushed the brick off my roof and knocked over your shrub while they were looking for food. I can't agree, Noddy, until I've considered all the evidence. But what about my giraffes? This is a tricky case, Mrs Noah. I may have to sleep on it. Uh, may I have a jam sandwich, Gobbo? No. They're mad jam sandwiches. No. What's that noise? How should I know? It's monsters! They're coming this way! Oh, don't be stupid, Sly. There are no monsters in Thailand. Oh, you're right! There are monsters hidden in the wood. Carry me. I broke another branch. Oh, we must get away! Come on, fast! Let's hide! <laughs> you should look where you're going. They're talking monsters! Mm, I smell food. Delicious food. Yeah. <laughs> what delicious food, my dear? Mm. <laughs> jam sandwiches. Do you? <laughs> jam sandwiches? <laughs> Leave the atom, my dear. Ooh, <clears throat> yummy. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Now, which is the way out? Yeah, I've no idea. It's so dark in here. Oh, no. We're loose. Oh, I'm not staying here, Sly. We must go and tell PC Plot about these monsters. I can't move! Good morning, Mr. Plot. Oh, 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 dear, oh, dear, dear. I'll take my watering can back, if you please, Noddy. Thank you. I want you to know if the giraffes have been found. No, they haven't. Mr. Plot! Mr. Plot! Mr. Plod, there are monsters in the wood. Great tall monsters with long necks that break branches and eat leaves. Monsters? <laughs> what nonsense. Great tall monsters with long necks. They must be the giraffes. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Just what I was going to say. We must go and find them. The monsters broke those branches last night. Not monsters, Gobbo. Giraffes. Giraffes are monsters. Morning, Mr. Plod. Oh, 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 dear, dear. I've been guarding the monsters all night. Help! We are oh, ah. in this tree. Don't worry, Lord and Lady Giraffe. I shall lead you from the tree with Mr. Plod's torch. And we can use my scarf. Your scarf? I'll place it around your necks. There. Now follow me. Oh, uh, giraffes! Uh, must go. Things to do. Mr. Jamaica! Bye. Bye! There, Lord and Lady Giraffe. Thanks to my scarf, you're free. So we are. <laughs> I say, my dear, perhaps scarves aren't so bad after all. Uh, may I wrap your scarf around my chilly neck, Noddy? No, you may not. I'm chilly too. I excuse me. If you go back to the ark, Mrs. Noah will give you your own scarf. Good idea. Come along then, dear. What are you waiting for? I, uh, I don't know, my dear. I'll come along with you, shall I? <laughs> Make sure you don't cause Mrs. Noah any more worry. Dear me, Noddy. Look how those giraffes have stretched your scarf. Now I can wrap it round and round. My scarf can keep me warm all over. And I don't look at all silly, do I? Oh, no, Noddy. <laughs> you don't look at all silly. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye.
He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For nodding, nodding.